This is the easiest fucking way for 99.9% .9 of you fat fucking cunts to lose weight and get ripped eating one meal a fucking day. Let's begin. The first thing is you eat your one meal right before you go to bed, you fat fucking cunt. You don't crack early, you fat piece of shit. You push the fucking fast through that hunger zone, you fucking fat cunt. You know that you're at a huge deficit if you're starving to death for a good five hours. Okay, so let's say you go to bed at 10 p.m. and you're starving at like 5 p.m. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you weigh yourself every fucking day when? Right before you break the fast, you fucking dummy. Right before you break the fast and you pull fluid, you pull snake juice and water a good two or three hours before you fucking take your weight, you fat fucking pig. Scale friendly diet. That'll make the fucking trend actually accurate. Okay, if you drink a fucking half a liter of water before you take your weight, you're gonna be up a pound. Okay, how the fuck are you gonna see your trend properly, you fat fucking pig? So you push the fast to the very end of the fucking day. The very fucking end. Fuck. The hardest part is just the boredom of waiting to eat, fat pig. Now, if you wanna watch a fucking movie or you're fucking around on social media, Stand the fuck up, idiot. Stand up watching TV. Okay, this is exactly what I do to get ripped. Stand the fuck up. Okay, that whole tail end of the day. Okay, you could be standing when you're doing your bullshit that night while you're waiting to fucking break the fast. Okay, stand the fuck up. The other thing that I do, okay, this is the training aspect of this routine. I train at a high frequency, low daily volume. Okay, because I don't need to be beating the fucking shit out of my body on the cut. But I want to still keep the fucking strength because truth be told, the most important thing you can do to keep muscle on on a cut is fucking stimulate the fucking muscles. But you don't want to fucking train a bunch of volume on the day. For one, it's going to make you hungry as fuck. For two, you're going to break the muscles down way too much. Okay, I do low daily volume full body workouts. We're talking like one fucking set. Push, pull, leg. I don't give a fuck what you do. Okay, I've been doing all fucking body weight shit lately. Okay, one fucking set. That's it. Every fucking day I do that. Okay, standing time. One set training. Fucking full body. Push the fucking fast. Okay, and then what I do as far as the meal goes, I know what my maintenance is about. Okay, I don't give a fuck what you fucking eat, you idiot. I don't care. As far as the fucking calories go, you use the fucking scale to tweak the fucking food volume, you fucking idiot. Okay? Eat the same fucking thing every day, then it makes it even easier to tweak. Okay? Because then you're not fucking fucking up the calorie count. You can just have the same fucking food. And if you're gaining weight, you pull the food back a little bit on the same exact looking meal. And on top of that, count the calories, you idiot. Fuck. Okay? Especially the starting point. Okay, for me, I know my starting point. A good starting point for me is going to be about 3,000 count. And like I said, I don't give a fuck what the fuck you eat. Okay, during this cut, fuck, I might have fucking days where I go super low protein, high carb. I might fucking go keto for a couple days. I don't give a fuck. Okay, I don't give a fuck. Okay, I might do a month on the same fucking meal that's fucking low protein, high carb. Okay, because I feel good on that. I can get away with the low protein because of low daily volume. I don't break my muscle down like crazy. Then I keep my fucking hormones in check because I can run the fat and the carbs way higher with the lower protein diet. Okay, or sometimes I might go strict keto. Maybe I'll just eat bacon for a week. Okay, I don't care about the fucking food, you fat pig. You push the fucking fast. You get in the fucking standing time. I train every fucking day. Okay, I might take the odd day off. Maybe. Okay, but it's every day and I auto-regulate my training. Okay, I'm intuitive about my fucking training. I go by how I feel. If I feel like I'm getting a little beat up, I'll just pull the volume back just a hair that day. It's simple. Then I'll use the scale to fucking adjust the food volume. If it's not dropping, I'll pull the fucking food back. Okay, and I'll have a starting point on the calorie count. For me, it's about 3,000 maintenance if I'm just living a pretty normal lifestyle without a stupid amount of cardio. So I'll start there, and then I'll see what the fucking scale does for a fucking few days in a row on the exact same meal, especially at the start, you fat pig. 
Especially at the start, eat the same fucking shit. Especially for that first fucking week, you fat pig. And then if the scale's dropping, you could maybe fuck with it a bit if you got confidence in your fucking calorie counting and your fucking weight logging. And now, if you're a super fat pig, if you fucking got that fucking diet and check, that one meal a day fucking default diet, and you have confidence that you can lose weight on that, then do a longer fast on steak juice, you pig. You can do a 48 once in a while, 72. Fuck, I don't care if you fasted for a week. I don't care if you fucking did the meal a day for a week, lost like two pounds, or at least maintained. And then you do a seven day fast on steak juice and lose 10. I don't give a fuck what you do. The number one thing is you have to have the confidence that you can lose weight on the meal a day diet, you fucking dummy. If you don't have the confidence you can lose, at least maintain, on the meal a day diet, you will never keep the fucking weight off. Fuck. And you'll never get ripped. You'll never get fucking ripped if you can't do this. This is as idiot proof as it gets to get ripped. Especially if you're the person that's trying to lose the last 10, 15, 20 pounds. Okay? If you're trying to lose that last bit, say you're trying to lose 20 pounds and you take two months to cut it. Two month cut. That's a fucking aggressive cut to lose 20 pounds if you only got 20 pounds on you to lose. Like that is a fast fucking cut, you idiot. Okay, like fuck. Don't be desperate, you fucking fat fucking pigs. Okay, chip away. Have a good fucking day-to-day -day routine built. This is the easiest way to do it. Fast all fucking day, starving to death. Pull as much calories from your body as you can during the day. You should be starving to fucking death. For a few hours before you eat, the meal should look the same. Log the fucking weight every day. It's so simple, you fucking morons. You can't make it any easier than eating one meal a day at night, weight logging. All you gotta do is be hungry through the day. Who fucking cares? It's a joke. Okay, and then the standing time. Okay, I don't beat the shit out of my body on these cuts because it keeps my stress level down. I sleep better and I fucking lose more weight. Okay? You don't gotta fucking go gung-ho. You don't gotta go gung-ho on the hard cardio, you fucking dummy. The intensity's so high, you're gonna be hungrier and you're gonna wanna eat more fucking food. Standing time's a joke. There's no fucking impact, there's no nothing. You could stand there and watch your favorite fucking bullshit fucking TV shows all night. Fucking burn 100 calories an hour, you morons. Okay, you can watch TV all fucking night, fucking standing, for fucking three hours and burn 300 fucking calories and feel like you didn't do shit. That's what you want. Low stress. Especially you fucking pigs that are trying to cut the last bit of body fat. If you want to really get ripped, this makes it a joke. This makes it a joke, you pig. Optimally, you want to have a fucking good amount of muscle in your frame before you even try getting that lean. If you don't have a good amount of muscle in your frame, especially if you're a fucking male, especially if you're a fucking male, and you're fucking already trying to get fucking dick skin ripped? Shut the fuck up and get in the fucking gym and build some muscle, you stupid cunt at 15% body fat. Okay? Hold your fucking body fat around 15% and fucking build some fucking muscle, you fucking dummy. And then once you fucking know that you got some fucking muscle on your goddamn frame, then do a fucking nasty cut. That goes for women too. If you're a fucking bean pole, if you're a skinny little stick woman, fuck! Do some fucking exercise, you dummy. Fuck sakes. Most of you women, if you even have an ass, it's fat. As soon as you fucking lose a bunch of weight, you're flatter than a fucking pancake. Shut the fuck up and get in the fucking gym. Or just go exercise outside. I don't care if it's in the gym. Okay? I don't care if you're in the gym. I don't care if you're doing fucking lunges and fucking around the playground. Go do something, you fucking dummy. Do some resistance or I don't give a fuck how you do it. Get it done. Put on some fucking muscle. You don't gotta get fat when you're trying to put muscle on. Okay, you don't gotta get fat. You fucking women aren't gonna get bulky. Shut the fuck up. There's no fucking way you're gonna be a lean woman and bulky at the same fucking time, you idiot, unless you're on fucking drugs. Fuck. Shut the fuck up and do some fucking exercise. Go do walking lunges till your glutes explode, you fucking fat pig. Fuck. Simple as routine. One meal a day. Push it right to the fucking end. Stand all fucking day. If you're gonna train the way I do it, high frequency, low daily volume. Low daily volume, because you don't want to beat the shit out of yourself on the cut. 
You just want to fucking tell your body that it needs to hold on to muscle. It's simple as fuck. Drink snake juice first half of the day. Make sure you go dry for a good two, three hours before you take your weight, before you break the fast. The scale trend is your friend, you fucking dummy. Okay, that tells you everything. If you're not losing weight, pull food from the fucking meal, you fat fucking cunt, or stand more. Okay, stand more first. The last thing you want to do is pull more food, especially if you're already getting lean. Okay, if you're already getting close to being lean, you don't want to be pulling more fucking food when you can just stand up more. Okay, if you're talking on the phone, walk around and talk. Okay, stand when you watch TV. Stand when you're fucking around on social media. Stand, 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 you fat fucking cunt. Okay, 100 calories a fucking hour for regular weight people. Fat pigs can burn 300 calories a fucking hour just standing and doing nothing. That's the easiest way to lose weight and get fucking ripped eating one meal a day. Till next time, stop fucking eating, fatty!